everybody? Welcome back. And uh, today we're going to be unboxing the PS5. I managed to get one a couple of days ago and they delivered it yesterday. So even though I managed to open it just yesterday, just to make sure I confirm that the PS5 is inside of the, you know, the box was there. Close it back up and I went to bed because I had to work here in the morning. And here I am, I'm back to work. Now let's actually do the unboxing properly and see what this bad boy can do. Um, it's a crazy stuff. The way I went on about to get it was crazy because I was looking online. Um, it's tough just to get one PS5. Well, here we are. We got it. I got it from Agos, as you can see. So I didn't get it online from Scalpers or probably people that want to sell it for exorbitant price. Um, I got it legitly. Um, it was a crazy way just to get it. But anyway, let's crack it up. Well, I'm going to be opening it. The way the delivery is, was so funny, you know, the driver just came through, uh, it gave me a text message and said, hey, we're going to be delivering your, you know, your item around 7.25 to 9 p.m. in UK time. And I was like, all right, I need to go to bed, but I uh, know this is PF Spike we're talking about, I can't go to bed, so I have to wait for it. And uh, I got it, you know, it was funny, everything was going on in my head, like, it looks like... He just knocked on my door like bah, 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 bah. You know like FBI open up and I was like okay <laughs> That's the way it was going in my head and PS5 was thrown to me like hey you go this is your package and I was like alright thank you you know um let's open it up and see what we have here Right we definitely need this for driver so I get ready, I've watched a lot of video online. You know. So we got the, the Dix version. I managed to actually get two, which I'm gonna do another video for. That one I have to pick it up probably in the next four days from others as well. That would be the digital edition. But right now, this is the Dix edition and um, we're gonna go with this one. So I think it's that I give one away, sell it, or, you know, I do whatever I wish with it. I don't think I want to give it to my kids because um, they got PS4 and I, they're too young and I think they have enough at their age so I don't want to spoil them. Even having them PS4, uh, I think it's, it's good enough for them at their age. I was kid, I don't get I don't get something like that. So anyway, enough of that story. Let's get into it. It looks to me like Christmas come early, you know? Because <laughs> um, I remember when I was growing up, I do not actually... I, I knew when PS1 was launched, but you know, my dad, you know, I do not come from a rich family like that, that we can actually obtain one for me and things like that. And we just stand through the fence and watch our new the PS1. It was awesome. Um, then PS2 came out. I was lucky enough to get one, I like, finished my college and, you know, um, planning to go to the university then. And I managed to get PS2, me and my friend, um, Scott, if you're watching my video, I miss you a lot then. Um, so, then I got PS2 and um, I, I really enjoyed PS2, God of War, all my days I enjoyed God of War PS2. Then I got PS3, I, I got my first PS3 from Tokyo. I remember that nobody had it in the UK when I got it. I'm so confident of that, so I got it. And um, for my PS4, my PS4 was easy just to grab. It's easy to grab. I just went down to game and queued up in the night time. I got PS4 and I got Xbox One. Is it Xbox, Xbox One or Xbox One X, something like that? I got, I got both of them anyway. But now here we are, PS5. It looks like crazy because of this pandemic that is going on. And people are actually using it to, you know, supply and demand, if you understand it, ec economics, sorry, <laughs> economics, the way it goes. 
Um, anyway, here we are. This box. Um, I checked everything yesterday, making sure everything is inside. So that's the manual. We got all the cable. We got all the cable. Um, you know, looking at this cable, it makes me realize like it reminds me of when I got PS4. The normal PS4, the cable was like this. But after then, then I got PS4 Pro. And you know, if you guys look at the power cable of the PS4 Pro, it's much more um, big, thicker, and chubbier, which means um, it supplies more energy to the console. And that gives me a kind of a tip. Yes, they're like, you know what, well, probably. They're still gonna re release PS5 Pro, and trust me, I have that feeling they will release PS5 Pro. Let's give them probably, maybe probably three years to four years. You know, they will release PS5 Pro. I, I think I can put money on that. Looking at this cable, looking at this power bank like that. So anyway, this is the HDMI everybody is going crazy about. I know about this HDMI a long time ago. Um, yes, I do have 4K TV, but I do not have 8K TV. Um, they are so expensive. If I have a lot of money, I would love to get one. But I don't really watch TV that much. I prefer monitor. So but apart from that, um, this is the two point. Um, I think the two point one HDMI cable that you actually need for it. And here we go. USB Type C. I always have this one because even my phone um, uses USB Type C anyway. So it's not hard to come by USB Type C these days. So even this HDMI two point one, I can easily get one on. Amazon easily. I don't know why a lot of people are crazy like, oh, you have to keep it. So yeah, fair enough. You gotta keep it, but you can easily purchase one online, so it's not that crazy. Now here we are. This a lot of talk has been going about this. You know, I mean, paying close attention on Twitter. People are talking about this bad boy. So there's a controller right there, and trust me, it looks cool, man. Um, Honestly, it's cool. Let's feel it. Oh, it actually feels good as well. It feels very good. It feels like something like I'm used to already, which is crazy. Almost look like the Xbox One ball. You need to hold it to feel it to understand it. Yeah, so this controller, I've heard a lot about it. This, um, it's a different whole game on its own, so um, let's just put it right there. Oh, try, you know what? Why don't you put it right there? Put it under the Christmas tree. So I'm celebrating my Christmas early to me, you know. I'm like a baby today. <laughs> but anyway, okay, here we are. This is the stand for it. That's the stand for the PS5. And, um,. What I know about this is that you need to actually spin it. And when you spin it, you find the screw driver. And the screw that is actually going to notice. I got this. This is the driver that I'm going to be using today. So put it right there. And um, yeah, let's go for it. So let's put it back. Put this one out of the way. Out of the way. And put that one there. And uh, out of the way as well. Let's go where the meat and potato is right now. It's so heavy, quite big. You can feel it, feel the weight. So, anyway, so that's the box as well. Let's put it out of the way. And please don't drop <laughs> out of the way. There we are. Let's put it somewhere on that. There. Because the floor is so lost with okay. here. Okay. This is it. PS5. It's big. You got way to it. Put it out of the way. Let's land it on the floor properly. Alright. Good. Honestly, that looks good. So right at the back, you can see everything there. I think that's for the lock, USB, 
and um, Ethernet cable, and you got the HDMI, and you got the, you know, where the power go. It's easy, man, honestly, it's easy. Even uh, 10 years old can put all this together easily, so it's not something big, you don't need to go. All right, right here is where the stand will be going to, so I can put it off, I just yank it off. You can see that small, I hope you see it. And now um, it's gonna go back into the stand. Go back into that stand. And um, yeah, let's try to stand it up. Honestly, it looks good, man. So I was thinking before that I'm gonna go for the for the digital edition. I really want to go for digit edition, digital edition. All my days, I'm mumbling on my words now. So I want to go for the digital edition. But what happened is that. Because I got the opportunity to purchase two of them at the same day, the same time. And I started thinking about it like, you know what, in the future, if I want to play Ultra Blu-ray 8K, this is the only thing that I have clothes that I can play right now. So, I'm starting changing my mind, like, I would like to go for it. I like it to go for the, you know, the one with the X drive. I do, I do have some games on PS4, which I are barely put in my own PS4 Pro right now because everything I've been purchasing for my PS4 Pro, I've been purchasing it, you know, directly from Sony digitally. Like, I only play Call of Duty most of the time. Like, that's the only game I play. It's not like I cannot play all of Duty, but Call of Duty a lot of time, so. And, um, you know, I downloaded everything. I really don't need the hard copy, but if I need to go on eBay one day on Amazon or just purchase any game, old school game that is, it might be cheaper, you might get it for five pounds, you never know. Then the option is there and I use that. But for right now, it's still useless to me. Right now, it's still useless to me. But one day, it, it will be and it might be useful. So the digital edition, I think I'm going to give it away. I'm gonna sell it and see how it goes. But for now, let's go. go to the stand. Then what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna pause the video and we're gonna come back to this. Stay tuned. All right, we're back. So. So like I was saying, you can actually, you know, turn this around. But what you want to do, you want to actually make sure when you turn it, this is open up. Because I was getting worried that how am I going to get this? I'm, I'm going to leave the link, you know, down this um, video. So you can actually see the video, actually watch just to make sure that I did it right. But it's as easy as ABC. So you put that, you hook, you hook it right from the back. And the screw, drop it inside, easy and easy, and just lock it up. In the future, what I'm going to be doing, because although I like the white, but I'll prefer it if it's a black color or probably they bring it kind of a design, you know, like let's say any kind of crazy design, it can be God of War design. So you can actually cover it in different ways. So I'm gonna be purchasing that. It's gonna be crazy online very soon. So let's just give it probably, you know, six months or four months. You're gonna be seeing a lot of cover, you know, skin that you can put on top of it and things like that. Just to protect even this white color. So I can move this one and keep it. So apart from that guys, that's it. So I'm gonna be making mine in a portrait way. Um, I'm not going to be going for the slant way and I'm not going to be using it in this sitting room I'm going to be using my bedroom upstairs <laughs> Oh, you know So, so far so good And um, that's it It's very fun Make sure you put the stand man because this thing is quite tall and something that is tall as this and heavy as it is If you fall down Trust me, you will have some issue with it, so you don't want that to happen. But this stand is doing the job right now, easy peasy. I believe in the you know next couple of months, 
a lot of this time will be they'll be selling on eBay they'll be selling on Amazon and all this kind of a crazy website it looks good so far um, anyway guys so to me Christmas come early for me um, I was lucky I do not like the way Sony actually launched it don't like it at all like a lot of people were watching the conference while some scalpers they were online trying to purchase this I was one of them, not the scalpers, one of the people that was watching the um, conference of the PS5, you know, and the power of the PS5 and things like that. But I believe that Sony could have um, tried to launch this console in a much more better way. Um, and I have the idea, the idea is very simple. If you've been playing, if you've been a Sony customer for the past 5 to 10 years, they should allow you to be able to actually purchasing through your um, console through your account you know and only one per person you know one per console one per IP or something like that if they're gonna find a way to hack it yes some people will try to find a way to get around but still they can make the security a little bit more tighter and the launch could have been much more smoother instead of finding a lot of this console that is just 450 pounds in the UK and you find it um, on eBay like a thousand pounds Two thousand pounds. That's crazy. That's to me. That's looks like fraudulent, man. I don't like it. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for listening to me, and um, I'm gonna do another video, give you a review on you know how good this is. Um, I don't really do unbox therapy. I don't really show my face on the camera, but I gotta do this one for you guys. Peace out. Thank you.